What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this series we're making a third person shooter game in Unreal Engine 4. In this episode we're going to be importing our custom character from Mixmo, along with the animations so we can get them working with our blueprints. So we can get a custom character and it's going to look great. So here I've already downloaded um, the mesh and the animations. I've got a, uh, a link to all of the downloads, I mean all of the files, uh, it's going to be in the description. Um, so it's just easier. So for our animations we're going to be using Mixmo. And Mixmo is a great rigging tool. You can import your own custom characters uh, and you can get some of the animations off there. And the great thing is that it's completely free. Uh, I've got uh, the mesh here and I've got the animations as well. So we're going to be importing them. So here we've got our, uh, our mesh character. We want to import this first. But before we do that I'm going to make a folder. I'm going to name this Characters. There we go, because we're going to have more than one. So I'm going to name this SWAT. So then from here, we're going to open up this folder and then I'm going to drag in the SWAT.fpx file. So this is going to bring up a menu here, and as we're importing the uh, mesh, we don't want to import any animations. It's going to create a material, we want to leave all of this be, and, we, and as long as all of this is enabled, we should be fine. So I'm just going to import it now. And it's going to take a few moments, but after that we're going to have to save again. Okay, so as you can see here, it's compiling the shaders and it's also brought up a few issues. We won't have to worry about that now, as we'll be doing our retargeting based off of the humanoid, the, sorry, the humanoid uh, pose later on. So we can just exit out of that. And as you can see here, it's created the materials, the, the textures, and it's got the um, skeleton and uh, mesh. So we're going to create a few folders here. I'm going to name the first one materials. And we're going to drag these three and the funny looking head into the materials uh, folder. And we're going to do the same for the textures. Just make everything a bit organized. There we go. We're going to compile and save. So no, we don't need to compile just yet, sorry. Next, we're going to import our animations. Now, as we've already imported the mesh, we won't need to re-import uh, it again when we do the animations. So we're going to have to do a bit of uh, customization on this menu here. So of course we want to import our animations and make sure that it's set to exported time. Uh, we don't want to uh, import a mesh so we're just, so we're just going to um, un check this box here, but it's automatically going to bind it to the existing SWAT skeleton which we've got at the moment. And as you can see it's got rid of the option to import a material as well as we're not importing a mesh. So I'm just going to click import all. And this is going to do all of the um, keyframing for the animations and it's going to take a while. But the animations which we're importing now are the idle, the walk, the run and the jumping. So that would include the jump up, jump loop, and jump down. Again, it's just going to throw up some random errors. We don't need to worry about that. And these are all of our animations. So we're going to create a new folder for them here. So I'm just going to call them animations. I'm going to move all of these into there just to uh, keep it organized. So now that we've got our animations and our mesh imported, we want to just drag it in and just make sure that everything is as it should be and it looks all right. We've got a nice looking uh, guy here. Doesn't he look lovely? Okay so um, now we need to get this uh, working with our blueprint. Okay. So we're actually going to be, um, for the time being, we're going to use the existing uh, Anon BP and the blend space. However, in later tutorials, we will be using uh, our own custom blend space to get eight-way locomotion. So we're going to go into mannequin, and we're going to go into animations. And then we've got uh, Anim BP and the idle run 2D there. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click on Anim BP, and we're going to click retarget Anim Blueprints. Now at the moment, it's got our source, and we need to select our target. Now at the moment it's not showing up um, as any here. So what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck show only compatible skeletons. That's going to give us a bit more options. So we're going to select SWAT skeleton. It won't appear here but it should work fine. 
So if we click retarget, we're going to have all of these issues. But um, it doesn't really matter, as we won't be using these animations. So we're just going to get rid of all of them. Should be easy as so, and click delete. There we go. So now that we've got rid of all of our uh, template animations, we're going to go into um, this. In fact, we're going to uh, move it to our characters folder. So we're just going to click move here. So we know where everything is. It's easier to work with. I'm going to save again. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to tell the AnimBP to work with the animations which we just imported. So we're going to open up the AnimBP. There we go. And then we're going to go down to AnimGraph. So it's down here on the My Blueprint tab. So here we've got the state machine. And we want to enter this. And then we've got these four things here. So what we want to do is we just want to um, just remove all of the references to the old animations uh, and put in our new ones. So we're going to open up this. No, ex sorry, excuse me. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the uh, third person idle run 2D. And this is our blend space. Now at the moment we've got rid of our animations so it's just giving us the typos. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to go down to the asset browser and we've got the list of all of our animations and we want to first drag in our idle animation I'm going to drag that in here. And it's going to uh, say a few errors, but after we save, um, there won't be any more errors. As you can see, it doesn't like it, as there's no references existing. And it's going to show up as red. So now we're going to add the walk. Just going to throw up another arrow. And the last one is run. So now if to hold down shift and move the mouse along the blend space, the timeline, you can see that it has a transition from walking to running. In fact, I'm not sure why that's not working exactly. Hmm. There, there we go. I'm not sure what that was all about. But um, so we're at a speed of zero to speed of 375, and we've got a nice um, blend from idle into walking into running. Now the default speed is going to be set at 375, but uh, in the next episodes we are going to be adding sprinting features. So it does start at walking, then goes to running, but uh, we won't be doing that at the moment. So now that we've done uh, everything which we need to do in our blend space, uh, this is pretty much everything which we're going to do until we replace it with our custom one for 8-way locomotion. So we can just click save, we don't need to compile anything, and we can X out of that. So now if we were to um, click compile just to make sure, okay, it, it's, it's, it's going to th throw a few errors. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look at this, and it's not happy because we don't have the jump animations, so that's what's giving us all these errors. So this animation is for the jump start, so we're going to click jump up, and we're going to drag that over to the play. I'm going to click compile, see if that likes it. There we go. And we're going to do the same again for jump loop. And I'm going to do the same for jump end, which is jump down. There you go. Now, when we compile, we shouldn't have any more errors. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so now we can exit out of this. Now, if we were to jump into our um, game, it's still using the old uh, AnimBP. Why is that? We haven't told the BP to reference um, the new Anim BP. So we haven't told the player character to reference it. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to rename our new one to uh, from third person to spot Anim BP. And I'll do the same for this as well, just so I know what's going on. There we go. So now when we go into our blueprint it should be easy to find it. So we're going to go back and we're going to go into third person BP. I'm going to go into blueprints and then as you, as you can see here we're going to go into third person characters. I don't know why it's automatically shown that. It might have been when I was running through it earlier. But as you can see um, normally the mesh would be here. Uh, I forgot to change everything back when I was testing it all out earlier. But if you go onto the hierarchy here, 
We're going to click Mesh, and we're going to select our SWAT skeletal mesh. That's going to put him into his default pose. This is because we haven't given him his uh, Anim BP class yet. So under Animation, you see Anim class. From the drop down from None, we're going to go onto SWAT underscore Anim BP. And this is going to put him into his idle pose because his speed is currently zero. And then click Compile. And save. Oops, it's done it automatically. And then I'm just going to save all of that. Now, if we were to uh, drag in our new character, we're going to get rid of our old one. And then we're going to go down to the details panel. We're going to make sure that it's set to auto activate and see where it is. There we go. So auto possess player. We want to set it to player zero. It's player zero, not player one, because um, computers start arrays at zero. That's a fun little fact. Okay, so we're going to click save again and let's run into this. So now we've got our character, we can move it around. We've got the idle animation, it's ever so subtle. You can sort of see his arms moving there. To be a bit more noticeable when we do add a gun, I'm not sure, but if we're to walk around, we've got the walking animation. it works perfectly. Now let's test out the jump. So the jump is a bit delayed at the moment. In later episodes when we do a lot of the optimization, a lot of the finishing touches, we'll fix a lot of this. But at the moment it works fine. And that's how we set up our character from Mixamo. Again, if you're using your own character, um, which uh, which you've imported from Mixamo, uh, and it doesn't look like this, and it has hair. There are some issues with um, hair materials, and if you are doing that, then uh, I'll link below the tutorial, which should be released by the time this is released, uh, on how to fix the hair material. So you don't need to worry about that. You can use any mesh you want and any animations you want. So. That's how we get it done. I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. In the next uh, one, we'll be adding the sprinting. And then the one after that, I think I'll be adding the health bar and the armor bar. And then, um, yeah, it's only gonna get better. And I'm really excited to see how this is gonna turn out. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.